Taurus, welcome to your weekly love reading for Taurus, so Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 12th to the 21st, but keep in mind, it's just for organizational purposes. Whenever you're guided to see a reading, that's when you're supposed to watch it, okay? Time is not linear. So guys, I hope you, everyone is doing really good. For those who are new to my channel, I always go to my meditative session first, and then I go ahead and get into the reading. Keep in mind, meditative sessions, I'm picking up energy that is in and around you, so it's energy that you could be experiencing directly or someone in your immediate environment or someone that you're, ener you're energetically attached to. And keep in mind, it is energy, so it can be vice versa. So let's go ahead and get into it. So Taurus, I love the energy I was picking up on off of you. <laughs> off of the touring collective I'm tapped into. It's really beautiful energy. It's really lighthearted. It's fun. It's like, it's very um, playful. Taurus, you've been on the grind for quite a long time, okay? You've been on the grind. I feel like a lot of you didn't even really get to enjoy your summer because I feel like you've just been on the grind going, 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 going. Is it in focus? I think it is. I'm super blind, guys, so sometimes I can't tell when it's in focus or not. Um, but anyway, back to you, Taurus really really fun energy i feel like you're actually living in the moment for the first time in a long time and for some of you even like the first time okay and it's actually making you very attractive i saw a lighthouse and i was meditating on your energy it's making you very very attractive and you are drawing people in taurus so be mindful of that because when you are so like just into the moment and into your life and working on you and focusing on you and just the fun of it all people tend to really like that people of all kinds of vibrations okay <laughs> because I do feel a lot of attention a lot of communication toward uh, towards you or a lot of approaching towards you a lot of incoming energy that is definitely not yours and Taurus I feel like you I'm sorry I picked up a lot of stuff so I'm just gonna go 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 Taurus I feel like you have been manifesting uh, certain things in your life, certain wish fulfillment, certain goals that you want for yourself some of you it's that dream job some of you it's just financial stability some of you it's that dream relationship some of you it's just to manifest a better social circle right just a healthier healthier lifestyle all around which is really beautiful Taurus you deserve that you worked your ass off you deserve that now it's funny because <laughs> I almost didn't even want to say that I got this but it made me laugh so hard that I was like oh I have to share this so I started hearing that like um that little rhyme roses are red violets are blue and I was just and I just psych it just psychically verbally came out and I was like because I was like, it was, I, I was hearing it. My guides were giving it to me. So I was reciting it out loud. It's like, oh, roses are red, violets are blue. And all of a sudden what came out was, and I don't know about you. <laughs> Taurus, I feel like you have put a lot of energy. Sorry. I feel like you put a lot of energy into manifestation, specifically when it comes to relationships. And you don't really like what's being presented to you. I feel like you are kind of turning a lot of people away because you are just so enjoying yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, it was so funny to me when I first heard it. I could not stop laughing. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, so keep that in mind, Taurus, that you might be coming across people where you're like, this isn't, th this isn't me. Like, this doesn't jive with me, but it's something that you did manifest. It's just, unfortunately... Um, <laughs> wasn't what you thought it would be and sometimes that happens with manifestations okay Taurus so just keep that in mind sorry <laughs> sorry um the last thing that I picked up with you Taurus is this is this energy of relinquishing control which I love for you guys I love I love when any fixed sign can do that because I, I I got a lot of fixed energy in my chart so I get it <laughs> I totally get it um relinquishing control just releasing shit to the ether like you know what I can put myself to the grind as much as possible but if I don't learn to enjoy the moment and if I don't learn that sometimes things happen the way they need to happen and I just have to roll the punches sometimes, then I'm not going to be my happiest self, right? And you're learning that. Some of you are learning that and I think that's freaking beautiful, okay? All right, Taurus, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. So as I said, guys, it can be vice versa because it's energy. Energy is not fixed. It's not linear. It's fluid. So if it's vice versa, it's vice versa. These messages will not be for everybody. Not all messages um, pertain to everyone. <clears throat> just as I just said. Don't know why I repeated it. I'm repeating myself a lot today. I don't know why I'm doing that. But anyway, Doris, um, I set the intention for messages to come through for those who need them. So that's why I, they can't be for everyone. But I sometimes do get messages for multiple people. So stick around. There could be something for you. Also, don't get hung up on the gender. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay? All right, Taurus, let's go for it. Oh, and if you have any other questions, there's a link below to how to interpret readings as a viewer. Okay? Oh, Taurus, you got me all over the place. <laughs> okay. Any messages for Taurus? 
regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Taurus regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Taurus regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. I'm using Rider Waite today as the primary, uh, which I don't normally do, but I felt really called to use this deck for you guys. So let's see, let's see how this goes. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? Ooh, 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 judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Oh, Taurus, ooh, what is this energy? I don't like it. I don't like it. It feels like a spanking. Like, <laughs> it does, it, like, it, it feels a little bit like a spanking. It feels a little bit like being a child and getting scolded. That's the energy, I'm, like a wincing, like, ugh. That's the energy I'm getting off of this. Uh, someone's facing the music, Taurus, and it does not feel good. It does not feel good. Any messages for Taurus? Yeah, I don't think you're, I don't think it's you. I think it's someone connected to you. Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus regarding love? Oh yeah, what did I say? A spanking. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy, and then we've got the freaking tower on the bottom. Yeah, someone's learning they made a really bad mistake. Um... It really does feel like a little spanking from the universe or like like a like a chewing out from guides or like like being a child and being scolded. It's just like like oh my god, why did I think that was a good idea? How did I find myself here? How did why did I do that? Why did I do that? I feel I feel a major missed opportunity here. A major missed opportunity, a major misstep, a, mis a miscalculation. Someone might actually be getting yelled at. Oh. Someone is getting yelled at at work. Someone's getting yelled at at work. I just heard minion. Okay. Taurus, for those that are business owners or those that are in more senior positions, you might actually be yelling at somebody. Okay. <laughs> you might be yelling at somebody. Uh, I, oh, for some, okay. Sorry, they're bringing it back here. For some of you who are in the accounting uh, realm of things, or, you know, again, if you run your own business or whatnot, someone might've mishandled money or did a really, really big, mis big miscalculation. Uh, I feel like they're getting yelled at. I feel like they're getting yelled at. Anyway, okay. So we got some peekers here. Thank you. Ooh, that's a lot of peekers. Okay, we'll take them though. Wow. So we have lovers in reverse, Gemini energy uh, with the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Jesus, Virgo energy. With two of swords in reverse, moon and Libra energy, and then the moon upright, Piscean energy. Could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Oh, Oh, and then we got a King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air with the Empress in reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Venus energy. Divine feminine energy as well. Four swords in reverse, Libra energy. Oh, man. Oh, someone's in love and someone feels like they made a big fat mistake. <laughs> oh, wait, focus. Yeah. Oh, hands down. Oh, man, I can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah, someone feels like they made a decision here. It seems like someone made a decision to walk away or someone made a decision to maybe end something or they're just, they've gained clarity. Thank you. They've gained, 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 gained. <laughs> can't talk today. They've gained clarity <clears throat> as to why a foundation didn't work out. Uh, but like I said, for some, I do feel like this was a decision to actually walk away. But with the moon card like this, someone still is still in love. Someone's still in love. And yeah, made a big fat mistake. Oh geez, okay. Oh, I do feel, okay. For some, this is definitely between you and um, <clears throat> like a baby daddy, baby mama situation, okay. Definitely felt that motherly, m motherly energy. Any messages for Taurus regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Oh wow, Taurus. Okay, so we got two more cards out here. If I could pick them up. <laughs> I can't pick up cards today either. Eight of Wands in reverse, Sag energy, and the Hermit Virgo energy. Eight of Wands in reverse, it's, I feel a block here. I feel a block in communication, a block to move forward. How do I get over this? How do I get over the hump? How can I talk about this? How can I resolve this? How do I deal with this after getting a sp my spanking for what I for what I did that's that's what I feel with this energy keep in mind guys we are in Virgo season so you're gonna see the hermit a lot in readings so just keep that in mind um could some of you be going with Virgo sure but this is really for because of the season it's really because of the season uh this walking away from a foundation or gaining gaining clarity as to why something didn't work out 
Um, and again, realizing that someone's still in love with an empress. An empress who's not giving any energy to this person, by the way. Um, like I said, Taurus, I feel like you're not giving any energy to this person. I feel like they're the ones who feel like they're getting a spanking from the universe. Karma might even be handed to them at this time. Um, but either way, Taurus, I really feel like you're more the empress here, not giving energy to this person. But someone's getting a lot of clarity that shit, I love this person and shit, I shouldn't have walked away from that or shit, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, for some, like I said, I do feel this energy of like money and someone mishandling money, especially with lovers in a verse, the ten of pentacles in a verse. Lovers in a verse, that's a bad decision, okay? <laughs> that's someone making a decision, um, an imbalanced, an imbalanced decision, not using their head. Um, or their heart at the same time like using only one of those right but someone made a decision here and it led to a major loss of money especially with the two of swords in reverse leading to a major loss of money um and someone is really emotional about that because they feel like they lost a lot of their um investments where they feel like they lost a lot of their investments so keep in mind Taurus for some of you this is just relating to finances where someone made a big fat mistake with, with handling money in a business or for a business and then realize like trying to figure out how to get from under this okay so that's for some of you overall come on Ooh, queen of cups in reverse cancerian energy could also be pisces or scorpio wow underneath that two of cups more cancerian energy also soulmate energy for me as a reader underneath that hold on i'm just like trying to show you guys ah okay i felt to i felt to take four so i just took four and then we have the eight of cups piscean energy and then we have an emperor big boss big boss man okay aries energy taurus energy divine masculine energy like i said for some someone really fucked up at work sorry i'm like i'm like seeing a hardcore and someone's really got chewed out for that um and I feel like their boss was like, get the fuck out. They might've even lost their job because of that. Um, but it was a job that they really had a lot of emotion for. And now they're kind of distressed and like, I don't know how to get from under this mistake. Okay, so like that work energy is coming in really, really strong. Um, but Taurus, for some of you, sorry, I know I'm talking really fast because I'm getting downloads, <clears throat> which does happen with readers. So if I'm talking too fast for you, just go back again, I promise you'll make out what I'm saying, okay? Um, for others of you where this is a romantic situation, like I said, someone's getting a spanking from the universe, someone's getting chewed out by the universe, <laughs> or even just by their own guilt. I'm getting a little bit of guilt with this. Someone realizes they made a big mistake by either leaving a relationship, a marriage, or a commitment of some kind, or realizing why the real reason why it didn't work out. Yeah, or realizing the real reason why it didn't work out and someone's realizing they're still in love with an Empress energy who's not giving any energy to this King of Cups who is still really in love. But Four of Swords in Reverse, there's a major need to heal anyway. So even though this person is still in love with the Empress, they need a timeout anyway to figure this out, which is why they're in Hermit Mode, to figure out how to get over this, how to come from under this, and maybe even how to communicate about this at some point later in time. However, this overall energy, we do have the King and the Queen so we do have a true pair here, not to mention we have the Emperor and the Empress as well. Quite the pair going on here. This Queen of Cups in Reverse is very ups is also a little upset. This is basically the Empress energy that I'm picking up. Um, they almost have no tolerance is what I'm getting. They have no tolerance for this, as, for this Emperor right now is what I'm getting. Uh, especially with the Eight of Cups. It's like, it's like, yeah, I love you. You both love each other. Let me make that very clear. You both love each other. You both love each other, but I'm just getting like intolerance. Like I can't tolerate you right now. I can't tolerate you right now. Wow. Okay. Anyway. Oh, I'm hearing that line again. Roses are red, violets are blue. I don't know about you. <laughs> Shit, Taurus. Okay. So let's break this energy down a little bit more. Let's look at Seven of Pentacles and Judgment in Reverse. I'm more curious about Judgment in Reverse. Let's see. Let's see if we can break, get more details out of here, out of this. Ugh. Let me get some water. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> By the way, those of you who are triggered by me drinking water, I'm gonna drink water because I gotta drink water. If you're triggered by someone drinking water, you might wanna look at why you're triggered, okay? <laughs> Just saying. All right, so I'm gonna use Gilded Tarot to look at Judgment in Reverse. Okay. Tell me about Judgment in Reverse. Tell me about Judgment in Reverse for Taurus regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Judgment in Reverse for Taurus regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Judgment in Reverse. Tell me about Judgment in Reverse 
for Taurus, your love, September 12th to the 21st. Time of judgment in reverse. Ooh. Oh, oh, less cards, please. <laughs> Sorry, it was card vomiting at me. Less cards, less cards. Time about judgment in reverse for Taurus. Time about judgment in reverse. Time about judgment in reverse for Taurus regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Time about judgment in reverse for Taurus. Well, okay, you can give me some cards. <laughs> Talk about judgment in reverse for Taurus. Oh, seven of wands, Leo energy. Oh, feeling attacked. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm getting an energy of feeling attacked here. By the way, we do have two sevens in this one line. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I was feeling, like wincing, like, ah, like, okay, okay, I'm sorry. That kind of energy. So I have a judgment in reverse. All right, let's see what we got here. I got quite a few cards that came out. The Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Then we have, wow, wow. Six of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, and then we have the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. This is incoming communication here. A um, lot of instability. I'm getting a lot of instability off of this. Yeah, for those in that work scenario, I feel like you're definitely getting chewed out by your boss. Um, but for those where this is more of a romantic scenario, I feel like, I feel, oh. Yeah. Yeah, this emperor is getting... That, that brunt of like, oh my God, oh my God, why did I do that? Why did I do that? And then we have communication here. Um, I feel, It's so interesting because with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like that's actually the Empress energy. But I don't feel like the Empress is actually that in, that unstable, instant. Why don't I have my words with me all of a sudden? Um, I feel like the Empress is way more sturdy than this right now. Why are they in reverse? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 I see. This is an argument. This is an argument. Okay. So basically, there is an argument here between an emperor and an empress. And the empress, the empress basically felt like they were getting attacked. So then they attacked the emperor. Like, what was the best way to say that? That's the best way to say that. Yeah, I feel like this is an argument. I feel like this this took away a lot of stability between these two individuals. And again, if this is at work, it's basically like emperor and empress going at it at work. Like, in a, you know, why I don't have my words? In an angry way. <laughs> in an angry way. Uh, yeah, whatever this fight was, whatever this conversation was, it, it basically put the empress in a very intolerant energy for the emperor. Like, you know what? I don't have to tolerate this bullshit. I don't have to tolerate this bullshit. And again, if this is happening at work, your boss or supervisor or what have you is basically, um, you know, coming down hard on you. And, and Taurus, like I said, for some of you, this could be vice versa because I don't feel like this is Taurian energy, the person who's getting attacked. But when this happens, the person lashes back. The person lashes, lashes back. And honestly, I feel like they lose their job. Tell me about judgment in reverse. Tell me about judgment in reverse. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Oh, wow. Now we have a Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy, and the Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. It's like quick regret. Quick regret. Quick regret. Quite quickly, it's like, oh, shit, what did I just do? right that that quick wincing that quick like oh shit i just made a big mistake oh crap why did i just do that why did i just say that why did i fight back why did i say this why did i say that it's it's quickly that kind of energy between this emperor and empress but like i said the empress is the one that seems like you know what fuck it i don't gotta do this i'm out it seems like the empress basically just washes their hands and goes about their business whether this is work related <clears throat> or love related but quickly it's like how do i get this back that queen of wands energy is very proactive and it's also very magnetic and attractive charismatic it's like i i have to have right that's a have to have energy i have to have this again how do i fix this quite quickly overall energy we have ace of swords yeah ace of swords and then we have the three of pentacles capricorn energy 
to be co -op cooperative, to be cooperative, to be on the same page, to work together, to work in harmony. That's the truth of the situation and it didn't happen, right? That's what needed to happen and no one wanted to play ball is kind of how it seems. It's And I can't really tell who the instigator is because I feel like in the work scenario, someone did fuck up and then the boss man, supervisor, if that's you, Taurus, that's you, um, basically came down hard on this person and then boom, it's just like, I don't gotta do this shit, I'm out. Quick regret to try to get it back. And they're realizing, gaining that, gaining that clarity of like, oh my God, we just had to work. We just had to be cooperative. Like we just had to hear each other out. We just had to be adults about this. And again, this, this is also applying to that love scenario where it's like there was a big, big fat argument and someone just went too far. Someone went too far and quickly filled with regret when they realized shit, all we had to do was just talk like adults. That's all that had to happen. That's all that had to happen. Okay, so let's go further into this energy. So this is that crumbling, <laughs> that crumbling, that falling apart, that losing that job or losing that money, mishandling that money, or just losing that relationship or walking away from that relationship. Two of Swords in Reverse, it's a, I feel like it's really a decision, but it's clarity first and foremost with the moon following it like that, okay? And then realizing that someone still really, really wants this, job related. Um, love scenario, realizing that someone is still very, very much in love with the Empress, but that this, that a break is really needed because there, there really needs to be time to recover from this. It seems like it was very explosive. I wouldn't be surprised if the tower comes out. But let's look at the Two of Swords in reverse. So I can get more of the story with that. Mm, steampunk. Let's do steampunk. And then we're going to look at this energy. Okay? Then we'll pull some advice. Ooh, Taurus. Tell me about the Two of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Two of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Two of Swords in reverse. For Taurus regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. about two of swords in reverse i feel this emperor wants to make an approach for those in that romantic scenario yeah for those in that romantic scenario i, I feel an emperor want, wanting to make an approach i feel i'm feeling it from this energy i'm trying to focus on two of swords but that those cards keep jumping out at me so i have the two of swords in reverse for taurus i feel like some awful things were said i don't know why i feel that but i do I feel like some awful things were said here. Play with the Two of Swords in reverse. Threats. Ooh, threats. I don't like that. Threats. Threats and like ultimatums. I'm getting actually very immature on energy all of a sudden. Almost like uh, like attacking attacking someone like in stuff they can't change. And I know sometimes that can happen in relationships where it's like, you know, you're on that verge of maybe breaking up and someone just says that one thing and it's like what did you just say <laughs> right and it's something like attacking you for something you can't change about yourself uh i feel i feel that kind of energy or like those kind of threats of like well i'm just gonna leave i'm just gonna leave and then it's like well then leave right the threats like that very immature energy talk about two of swords in reverse Talk about two of swords in reverse for Taurus regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Oh, someone even, someone did say grow up. Someone did say grow up. Tell me about two of swords in reverse for Taurus. Tell me about two of swords in reverse for Taurus regarding love. September 12th to the 21st. Wow, nothing's coming out for this two of swords in reverse. Whatever this realization is. Uh, it's leaving someone quite speechless. But it's a self-realization. Feels like it's a self-realization. Oh, there we go. Talking about the Two of Swords in reverse. So we have Eight of Wands out here. Talking about Two of Swords in reverse for Taurus. Talking about Two of Swords in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Wow, only one card came out. Eight of Wands, Sag energy. Overall, we have the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. It's just that realization about the fight. It's the realization about the fight, right? And realizing that, okay, I do have to do something about this. It really is my fault. I really had a big role in that. 
I have to do something about this. This is the Emperor's thinking. Emperor slash King of Cups. That's the Emperor's thinking. That's the King's thinking. I really have to do something about this. I really have to make it right because deep down, I still love this Empress or deep down, I still really want this job. Okay. Okay. Let's look here. So like I said, for a lot of you, this altercation or breaking down could have happened a while ago and now this person is like about to make their move because they're in hermit mode about it. Others, this is something that is happening or recently happened and the person will be going into hermit mode about this, okay? So let's look at the hermits. Mm -hmm. Let's do spellcasters. Tell you about the hermit. Tell you about the hermit. Tell you about the hermit for Taurus regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell you about the hermit. <clears throat> Tell you about the hermit for Taurus regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell you about the hermit for Taurus. Oh, yeah, three of swords in reverse, Libra energy. Like I said, healing, man. Healing needs to happen. A little time out between this emperor and empress is not a bad thing. It's very much needed. It's very much needed. Now we also have, oh, wow. Wow, we've got a knight of cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the moon again, double confirmation there. Piscean energy could also be a uh, Cancerian for me as a reader. The high priestess, which is Pisces. Keep in mind the full moon in Pisces is on the 14th of September. So it's, I feel like it's just really representing that energy and how this is gonna be transpiring during, the, during this time for a lot of you, okay? Um, also Gemini for me as a reader, the high priestess. Two, two, two lovers, two, I'm about to say two of cups lovers we do have the two of cups here because there is mutual love there is mutual love here uh lovers in reverse though gemini energy and then the eight of swords in reverse uh more gemini energy a lot of gem energy right there could be a gem touring cusper but not necessarily so wanting to heal wanting to come in on a white horse <laughs> this moon energy though there's a lot of intuition going on here oh wow yeah <clears throat> The Emperor is getting antsy to come in on their, their white horse or their white fish. <laughs> I think it's funny they have them on a fish. I get it because it's a Piscean card, but still, it's funny. So they want to come in, but they know, intuitively they know that someone has released themselves from, from this event. They know that the Empress has released themselves. Yeah, Taurus, I really feel like you're more in the Empress energy. If it's vice versa, it's vice versa. Because um, <clears throat> the Empress is just like, I'm not tolerating it. I'm not tolerating it. I'm out. I'm not tolerating it. I'm out. I've released myself. Yeah, I feel like that's the energy that's really living in the moment here. Really living in the moment. Let's see what else we got here for the hermit? The emperor knows. The emperor's been meditating for sure. Look at the intuition off this card. These two cards together. Very, very powerful intuition signifiers. Um, yeah. The emperor knows. The emperor knows. Tell me about the hermit. Tell me about the hermit. Tell you about the hermit for Taurus. And again, if this is a job scenario and, you know, the, basically someone wants to try to get their job back, uh, they already know that the boss super, you know, I was about to say Superman. <laughs> the boss, the supervisor is very much like just done and over their ass. Tell you about the hermit. If that's you, I'm sorry. It's just true. Full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because there's a Uranus card. It could be an Arian Taurian Cusper. <sighs> you know, the Emperor wants to do it. I feel a little hesitation with this, though. Yeah, I feel hesitation. I feel hesitation. They're afraid of the backlash. They're afraid of what the conversation is going to be like, of how the conversation is going to go. Overall energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and then Six of Pentacles, uh, Taurian energy here, really wanting to reach out, really wanting to put an effort, really wanting to reach out here to mend a chaotic situation, right? Six of Swords in reverse. It's really also to appease their own guilt and their own inner peace. This is Aquarian energy. And then we have that King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air. Got more of that true pair energy, soulmate energy, because this King's in pain. Yeah, this King's in a lot of pain about this. A lot of mental anguish, more mental anguish than pain. Um, 
they can't get this out of their head. They can't get this out of their head. They have to fix it. In their head, they just have to fix it. They have to fix it. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some advice. <clears throat> Any advice for my Torians? Any advice for my Torians? Any advice for my Torians? Regarding the spread. Any advice for my Torians regarding the spread? Okay. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Chameleon spirit, act as if. 14 breaking down to a 5. Why do I feel like this is the Empress energy being like, mm. like, a what? Like, look at those eyes. Like, a what do you want? <laughs> that i can't help but see that uh but this is about adaptability changing adapting and learning i feel a lot of learning coming from this there's usually also an energy of like a fake it till you make it like play the role until you actually become the role as well i feel i feel like this emperor is adapting quite a bit this king slash emperor i feel like they are adapting a lot they have a lot of love and passion for this queen this feminine energy this empress they do um but it's something about having to rise up to that standard and remember I heard grow up it's like yeah it's it's learning from this event it's learning how to not get to that place and how to actually work together work together collaborate together talk like adults talk like adults be respectful 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 yeah respect is big in this respect is big in this that's definitely for the emperor any other advice for my Torians regarding this spread I really feel like this king has learned a lot from this queen by this one experience. Like learned a lot, learned a lot. Learned a lot about themselves and also learning that, you know, coming from just a pure place of just passion and emotion is not necessarily the best, right? Because the kings are coming up as, where did that king of wands go? Oh, there it is. They're coming up as the king of cups and, and king of wands. A lot of passion, a lot of love, right? And that's awesome. But this energy, if it's used incorrectly or if it's used in a shadowy kind of energy, it can be very explosive and very volatile, very unpredictable and very difficult to work with. Like this is like the motivational, creative, inspirational energy that we all need. The swords and the pentacles, that's putting this energy to create something and then make it come to fruition, right? This person's mostly using this energy. They need to learn the swords and the pentacles in these kind of scenarios, okay? bring more stability and groundedness to the situation. Uh, what did I say about intuition? <laughs> Dragonfly spirit, energy of 22, self-mastery energy. Truth transcends illusion. This is the clarity. This is the information coming in. This is the intuition of this emperor slash king going off, bells going off like, oh shit, like this empress is really over it. This empress is really over it. And if I really want another chance, chance at this, or if I really want that job back, I gotta really shape up. That's that energy. I gotta really shape up. Any other advice for Taurus? Any other advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Any other advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Oh, there's that hermit card. So the longer you work with a deck, just, just talking to you guys. <clears throat> The longer you work with a deck, um, <clears throat> you'll start having more of your own meanings for the cards. And so it's funny because Brown Bear Spirit just came out and this is my Hermit card. And we do have the Hermit out here. It's also a Seahorse Spirit, Watch and Wait, Brown Bear Spirit, Take a Time Out. 53 bringing down to an 8 and then Brown Bear Spirit is a 9. So we have progression here. But this is being in that Hermit mode, right? This is being in that Hermit mode. This is taking the time to heal shit. If I can pick the cards up. This is taking time to heal shit mull things over, gain more perspective, gain more clarity. It's okay to take this time, Emperors. You clearly need it. Especially for those in the romantic situation, you clearly need it. It's going to be in your best interest to take this time and to learn to shape up and adapt to dealing with this Empress in the way that is best for both of you. Overall energy, we have Canary Spirit. Sing your own song. 12 breaking down to a three. This is speaking truth. And again, it's like this energy of like being respectful in the way you guys communicate and the way you guys behave with each other, being communicative, being honest, but being respectful and fair, harmonious communication. 
this is a lesson to be learned in this for these kings slash emperors that may be watching. Some of them are definitely watching. Um, yeah, this is something to be to learn to learn. This is something to adapt. Okay. Ooh, Taurus. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Namaste, Taurus.